I say it all the time. Every time somebody asks me how I'm doing, it's somebody that's, that's outside of my world. You know, how's the business going, whatever. I mean, the first thing out of my mouth every time, every single time, is I've got this incredible team. It's different because you create as you build. You know, a lot of times some of the coolest ideas unveil themselves in the course of construction. And it's, it's fulfilled that need that I have to create. Wow, um, it'll be 30 years since we built our first house. I was in the stone masonry business, had grown it into a pretty nice uh, little company uh, shortly after we got married and throughout the 80s and fell in love with architecture. We are in the middle of North Carolina. I'm from the eastern part of the state and Rex is from the western part of the state and our company is right in the middle of the state. So. I am the builder's son, so I can give you a very in-depth history of it, uh, which I won't. I have this day-to-day -day relationship, you know, with my son and my wife. Um, that is my business. We have an awesome team. We have an absolutely awesome team. In the office, we have Eric, our estimator. Eric is really good at what he does. He's very dedicated. He's a family man. He's a volunteer firefighter. Stacy, she's our selections coordinator. She's very detail-oriented, very organized. I have organization envy because <laughs> she is so organized. Uh, then we have our project managers. There's Jim and Grant and Pedro. Jim is very to the point. He's been building for decades and he just tells it like it is. Then there is Grant. Grant watches the numbers really well. Grant's one that introduced to us the idea of the whole team going to the job and seeing his houses right before he turns them over to the homeowner for us to find the problems. Grant wants all eyes on his job before he turns it over to the homeowner. I think that's really cool. We have Pedro. Pedro is funny. Pedro is fun. He is so positive as well. It's just fun to be around him and uh, to talk to him. Pedro has a uh, unwavering positive attitude that is infectious. I like to joke around a lot. I feel um, there's a clown in all of us. And here at Buff's home, I think it's um, I'm not the only one. Brenda is our accounting manager. She's pretty much the mother hen of our group here, so she's looking out for us, and uh, she's a good mother figure to have in the office. Evan is kind, and he has a passion for um, saving the earth and the footprint of, of what we do in the earth. He's an interesting guy, and he's always kind of doing research on the latest and greatest technology that's out there. And I'm kind of a building science nerd too. So, you know, a lot of times we'll get in these conversations about new methods and, and new products that are out there. We care for each other. We look after each other. Uh, we know what's going on in each other's personal lives. And it just makes work much more personable. We, uh, we lean on each other and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Rex is the life of the party, so he's always coming up with new and innovative ideas. Rex is like the equivalent of like a Disney Imagineer, you know? I've never met somebody with as much experience as he has, but is still malleable enough to be open to new ideas. I love these translucent yeah, garage doors. Beautiful. Yeah. Looks very heavy. 
actually glass. That's pretty pretty cool. I think Rex is um, very dedicated to, to building. I think he has great passion for it. He understands what project managers go through with homeowners, with, with subs, and all the difficulties. And he's been there, he's done it. It's a very unique set of stairs. Every sleeve's been marked and labeled. It's all welded together. So like after this is on, he's gonna come up through the bottom and through both. Well, when the homeowner comes with a challenge, that's again where Rex is really good because he can, he visualizes a lot of things where I can, I can implement them. So we put our heads together and that's how we do the unique things in the house. I think what you grow to appreciate over time is the artisan that he is. Um, his passion for music personally, uh, for the community, but I think when you get inside each home you'll find how he's been able to help his clients really achieve their dreams. It's very modern, but it's not cold. It's not cold contemporary. It just has modern sleek lines, but a lot of wood. You know, the prairie style always incorporates a lot of natural wood, natural cedar on the outside, a lot of beams on the inside. And so there's a, there's a real warmth there, but at the same time, a lot of clean lines. Good, how are you? All right, let's see the wall. Well, I thought he was really thoughtful. Um, you could tell that he's uh, very interested in designing and, um, and is artistic, so he's very creative as we were trying to decide things. He really is thinking ahead for you. He's thinking about, okay, what's going to work when you're living in the house? We're just seeing the structure. He's thinking what's going to work and what's not. We were talking about Pedro and Rex, they're just very calm. And even though you'll be stressed as someone building a house, they just keep you um, very calm because they've done it before and they take that custom building really seriously. It takes a team to build a home nowadays. People have an incredible amount of selections. And I think when you team up people like Donna and Rex and Desi, you get you get a brain trust. Phenomenal creativity combined and you get engineering advantages, um, space planning advantages, and budget advantages if that's what's needed and when it's needed. We sit down and there's a lot of great designers and sometimes when you, you just are able to feel it's the um, chemistry between you, you're able to take and you feed off each other's designs and ideas and we all were good on our own, we all were great, but in the end it's absolutely the best. That's only, four, that's, that's only four feet right there. That is four feet between the box to box, actually. She'll ask a couple questions, and before you know it, she's got, got that pencil in her hand, and she's sketching a three-dimensional scene of what this kitchen could look like if we did it this way. And uh, blows our clients you know, out of the chair, and, and we change the whole design, and so that's who Desi is. Sometimes it's hard to translate from paper to actual houses, and it's hard to visualize some of the spaces. We're sitting in these meetings, and I call it there, there's an aha moment in every one of these meetings. And a lot of times it's during the design process where we'll be working with a client, and Rex will just come out with something in every meeting that is just like, just mind-boggling, just really, really cool. As we move forward into the future, um, I want to be even more so on the cutting edge, even more so industry-leading. It just is common sense that if more and more people are going to move here, more and more people are going to build houses here, that we have to get less demand in order to be able to share the resource moving into the future. I think for a long time, the idea of building a large custom home was kind of in direct conflict with that idea, but with the technologies and, and things that are out there now, uh, and the focus that internally that we're putting on that, you know, I, I would almost be jealous to, to switch uh, energy bills with, with any one of our clients. I mean, our houses are getting so efficient and so tight and so well thought out.
Well, my name's Grant, uh, project manager here at Boss Homes. Uh, daily routine for me is basically, I do everything from emails, paperwork, getting quotes, uh, meeting with clients, I meet with subs on a daily basis. So basically, we're the general contractor, so we have all the subcontractors, we hire, we price it, we get them on the job site, and then watch for the quality and control. Kind of the whole shebang, you know, just making sure the job sites are clean, um, everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing, and, um, you know, making sure that we're, we're holding standards, like the quality that we expect out of everybody. Yeah, that's what it shows. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do, do a piece 45 across. If I just do it like that, I'm gonna end up with a block here and a block here and, and no room for the soffit to mount it on. So the guys in the field, you know, they're, they're people that have been doing this for a long time and they're people that you can call and, you know, bounce ideas off of, um, ask questions. It's people that we trust to do what they're supposed to be doing. So, we get rid of some roof. Because <laughs> originally, it was only coming out to that LVL, right? So we had plenty of room to build up and slip away. Basically slope it on the subsurface. And then structurally, just more sound, less deflection for ground issues. Party tape, it definitely would do that. If you ask anyone in the building industry, you know, it's kind of a small circle we run in. Um, he has the best reputation I've, I've seen. Um, and that's kind of what attracted me to, to want to be a project manager here, is to know that, you know, no matter what situation the company's in, we have someone in charge that's going to do the right thing. Um, is that what it is? Is it just a ring or does it have crosshairs in it? I think it's just on the outside, yeah. Come on. Let's look at this real fast. You know, I will continue to be here and work hard um, because I'm proud to say I work here. And at the end of the day, you, you establish long relationships with these people and you make, you know, contacts, new friends, and uh, you can kind of sit back and see the work you've done and be proud of it. You're literally building the roof over people's heads. You're building their shelter. You're building their safe place, their sanctuary. Um, and that's really a special thing to be doing. We get to meet really cool people from all different kinds of places. We get to experience a lot of different taste. No job is ever the same as the last job. Uh, and that's, that's fun. That's, that's what makes this job so much fun. You get to do things that uh, you might not otherwise see uh, in other types of home building. My hope is that uh, Boss Homes will continue to grow and become better. Um, not necessarily bigger, just better. Better at what we do better at how we serve our communities. Everybody involved in this company genuinely loves what they do. It, it speaks volumes to, to the morale. Uh, I have a, a new appreciation for what my father and my mom and my family has done over the last 30 years. And it's really incredible, the company that they've built I mean, we're blessed beyond measure with um, good clients and good projects and good upcoming neighborhoods and good developments and um, the future looks really good. Um, I don't see us going anywhere anytime soon. We love building, we love our team, we love our company. I would like to think that what we've built over the last 30 years will continue on and I would love to see this team and new people yet to come uh, carry, carry that on for many, many years. Thank you.